There are decks in trading card games that when piloted by elite players will have a gross and overbearing fucking win rate, and you cannot play against that deck in their hands. But if you try to take that deck to a ladder, you try to take that deck to a local, you try to take that deck to a random tournament, you're going to get your shit stomped in by a deck that actually can't contend with that deck, maybe due to the complexity of the deck. But that doesn't mean that the deck is actually bad. It just means you're not good at playing it. And then if that becomes your counter argument that people aren't good enough at Rumble so that they shouldn't play it and they should play something easier, well, now you're fucking moving the goalposts. And it's not actually that Rumble's bad. Sure. It's that the people that are playing that Rumble are too bad at him, which means that your fucking statistics that he has a loss rate goes completely out the window because you're ultimately just fucking conceding they're not good enough at Rumble. And so any loss that they accrue with them should not be used against the statistics. Holy shit, dude. Wait, but, but you know what's the worst part about this? Take it's it like, away. You can, you can look at it and you can tell that it's so obviously like divided.